Okay. So one of you stand on this side. So let's see Jesus is talking to this person. Let's follow it. Okay, so verse 15. Go ye therefore. So you go ye therefore. Into the world. Into the world. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. Go on. That he that believeth. That he that believeth. Who? Him or him? Did you follow the reading? What are we talking about? Take it again. Go ye into the world. He's telling him. Go ye into the world. And preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. And he that believes. And he that believes. Who? Him or him? This one, right? Yes. All sir. right. Continue. So we're here now. And he's baptized. And he's baptized. Who is baptized? This or this? This, right? Yes, sir. All right. Go on. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Who? Him or him? The creature. This one. All right. Go on. And he that believeth shall not be condemned. Who shall not be condemned? Him or him? The okay. person, this right, this person here, right? Yes, sir. Good. The, the creature, the person in the world. Right? Go on. And these signs. And these signs shall follow them that believe. shall follow them that believe. Him or him? Who? The person doing the preaching or the person listening? The person listening. The person listening. So you see, when we say these signs shall follow them that believe, go on. Go on. And in my name. In my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall cast out devils. Who? Him, the preacher, the disciple, or the person that believed? The person that believed. I know when you quote that scripture, you are referring to this person. As though it's the scripture for men of God, for people who are big and on the top. No, it is for the people that believed that day. He says, if you believe, you be baptized. It happens that day, doesn't it? If you believe, you'll be saved. When does it happen? Two weeks after or that day? That day, if you believe, you will not be condemned. When does condemnation remove? When is it removed? That day or the day after? That day. That day. Whoever believes, they shall do what? Verse six. These signs shall follow. These them. signs shall follow them. In my name. They In shall my cast, name. Cast out. Demons. They shall cast out devils. Why have you now pushed this one to a future time? And you brought it to this person, not this person. According to scripture, the day you were able to cast out devils is the day you believed. The day you believed that Jesus is Lord. That day you could cast out the devil. That poor devil. You can cast him out. He's a defeated foe. Go on. Let's finish that verse. You shall speak with new tongues. You shall speak in new tongues. Him or him. Uh, and now you know that it's him. Because you know when you get somebody born again, you say, okay, um, you, the, I want to get you filled with the Holy Ghost and you explain that and you pray and boom the person starts speaking in tongues go on they shall take up serpents and I'm and telling you that from now henceforth that you are born again you can now take serpents and if they drink any deadly thing and even if you drink any deadly thing it shall, it shall not hurt them it shall not hurt you see this is not the message you preach to new converts <laughs> But yet, this is the message for convert. This is the welcoming message for people who are just born again. That after people get born again and they come out to the altar and they repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. And we say, okay, um, go to that brother waving his hand at the back. Just go there. And when they go, they're supposed to tell him, it's okay, now that you believe, eh, these signs are now going to start following you. From today, in the name of Jesus, you can now cast out devils. Imagine if we raise Christians like that. <laughs> Go on, let's finish the verse. They shall lay hands on the sick. You can now lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. And they shall recover. Oh, please finish it. <laughs> so after the Lord had spoken right, unto them. It's finished. Thank you. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. All right. Are we being blessed? Are we being blessed? Did you get that? So a lot of things in scripture, we take it out of context. So you are asking God to do for you as a man of God what he's doing for first converts. People who are giving their life to Christ today. The things that is going to start following them. And mind you, he said that this signs shall do what? Follow, not lead. So if you're looking for the signs, they are not in front of you. They are where? Behind you. Behind you. So you're supposed to take the initiative. He says you shall lay hands on the sick. And they will be healed. He says you shall take up what? Serpents. He didn't say if serpents fi- find you and bite you. Oh, I wish. 
you know how you can take something and throw it outside? It's the way you can take a serpent and throw it outside. Snake, snake, snake. I look for the biggest stick. Scripture actually says you can pick it. I said, no, you're not supposed to be coming inside. And throw it outside. That's the life of God. I, I know you will not receive it. So let's just talk about spiritual things. Let's just say the devil is the serpent. You can deal with the devil like that. You can confront him and chase him out from a place. Let's leave it spiritual. Because if you say physical now, you know. You know says, you will take poison yourself and drink it. And what? You will not harm me. How many of you drank dirty water and had what's that thing? Typhoid. <laughs> How many of you? See, you are not allowed to eat something that will make you sick. If you took it to your mouth, it is blessed. I don't mean you should play with health and all the relevant people, but still, if you found yourself in a village and there's no water, don't die of thirst. Drink what they drink. The fact that you see them alive, I mean, your faith should be encouraged. Drink it. <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge. The problem is a different knowledge has entered you. In which civilization did men began to purify water? If dirty water killed everybody, there would be no person left. There would be no person today. Is that true? Knowledge. Someone discovered. You know so well that malaria comes from where? Mosquitoes. But is that entirely true? Malaria comes from where? From where, please? Where does malaria come from? Are we lost? From where? <laughs> from mosquitoes. Where does it come from? When you come to pray, have you ever seen somebody pray and said, This malaria, I sent you back to the mosquito it came from? <laughs> where did it come from? Where? Hell, from the devil. It came from the devil. How did the devil bring it? Through a mosquito. Why did it have power? <laughs> that mosquito, it bites everybody. Was everybody that malaria? Does everybody that sleep in the same room where there is mosquitoes have malaria at the same time? So there's something in you that resists. The problem is that it's only your white blood cells that is resisting sickness. And in Tango, they call it white blood cells. The white one. The white one. Eh? The white one. How white is the one in your spirit? He says he will wash you with his blood to become white as what? The white one. Hallelujah. Immunize yourself with information. 